Hello again. Uh, this time I'm going to be covering the camp prior to Newport News. Uh, I'm not always going to be doing camp videos, but this is one where there's a little bit more going on, so I'm going to show off some of the different optimizations you can do to get slightly better units. Um, to start, um, my goal is to have uh, 6 AO before Shiloh. Um, that's going to leave me with one extra point, uh, which I'm going to put in Econ, uh, just for the slightly cheaper weapons. So from here, uh, I don't... Both of these units are fine. Uh, I like the perk they have, so I can just expand them. Uh, however, Cable, while there's nothing wrong, nothing wrong with his perks, uh, he has a pretty high melee stat. And I actually want to take these stats and put them into a cavalry unit, because I usually start off with one. Uh, so my goal is to drop the recruit pool down to zero, so when I disband cable, uh, these stats will transfer over as opposed to getting averaged into the lower recruit stats. So I want to make sure that we top him off so that we have enough units when we disband that we can create a unit. We've got the free kernel, so it's going to be a little cheaper than normal. Uh, I'm going to take the rifles to make this relatively cheap. And then we're just going to create three infantry units. Yes, sir. And for this last one, I'm actually going to buy a kernel I'm going to want the, when I end up buying these up anyways, and they're useful because if you put them in with fresh recruits, you get, uh, you'll get one star immediately. So I just need to use up a little bit more here. And I'm going to put veterans in because preserve some of these stats a little bit. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So now the pool's cleared. We can disband you. Sir, yes, sir! And at this point, we need some recruits back. And I'm going to go up to 300. This is a little expensive. You can get away easily enough by just going, keeping either the artillery or keeping three infantry units. But there's some extra stuff I like to be able to do to have a cav uh, with the cavalry unit. So I'm gonna go with that. I'll deal with that in a bit. So I'm actually going to be putting the Majors in just so they level up because we're still high enough that we get the efficiency bonus and we, yeah so we're uh, we got the efficiency bonus and I'd rather have more lieutenant colonels or colonels than a slightly higher level colonel or brigadier general. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, I'm only going to go up to about 900 with these. Uh, you don't lower scaling slightly, but you don't really need the extra, and it's a little bit cheaper in terms of buying veterans. Um, I probably buy more veterans than you really need to, uh, just because the units are small enough that it's not as expensive. Uh, yes, sir. Let's see, probably just buy up to the point of getting rid of money I currently have. Yes, sir. This is more me being particular about it than any need to actually do it. Uh, I guess the one thing is make sure. So we want to get this unit to 900. Uh, we always want to put in 
veterans first um, because that's good that keeps the stats as, as good as it'll get uh, if you put in uh, rookies first like I'll just sort of show it you drop these stats down to here and then if you filled up with veterans so you didn't lose a star or something then you'd be preserving these lower stats as a, uh, opposed to preserving the higher stats and if you you can test it pretty easily if you want to but uh, you will end up with a higher average stat at the end if you put the veterans in first uh, so at this point Um, actually, I'm going to... I don't really want to bring supply with me, so I'm going to drop this. And I'll just put the extra money into veterans. Yes, sir. Major. Both of these are command bars way over the efficiency, so we can get away with a worse officer. We'll leave Siegfried in there. Actually, hard to say. Uh, there might be a benefit to putting a Lieutenant uh, Minty in here to try and get him leveled up, uh, but I think I'm just going to go with the Majors. Uh, in terms of, I guess, brief perk discussion. Um, I don't care about morale at all on infantry uh, or really any unit. Uh, the, let's see. And so I basically always go with the speed bonus. Uh, in terms of cavalry, same different, same thing. Don't care about the morale. Speed bonus is usually what I take. Uh, this is one of the changes in the mod. Uh, so originally in the base game, uh, this perk was supposed to give uh, foot speed, and this was supposed to give mounted speed. Uh, however, foot speed doesn't isn't actually a stat in the game. There's just overall movement speed, and but there is also mounted movement speed. Uh, so if I'd restored the perks exactly as written this perk would just always be better than this one. So I ended up switching it out for accuracy. It's a stat that you can't really get on cavalry that much and dragoons are kind of weak already. So uh, not really not really a great change, but I wanted to put something in there because otherwise there'd be no reason to ever take this perk over endurance course. So anyways, since for melee cavalry, I want the extra speed to stay on top of units. And that is about it. Uh, I'm going to end up buying stuff up. Um, buying all of these. And the Tredegars and 24 pounders. But we'll do that for money from uh, Newport News. Alright, so I'll be back with Newport News shortly.